Hi, my name's Robert Adams. What I'd like to do is just very, very quickly take you through uh, some of the automata, well, all of the automata, the four automata that we've got here on the CD, uh, the frog, the owl, the cat and the dog. Just show you a little bit about the mechanisms and talk about them. Um, these are the automata that you can make from it. Now, these can be uh, used as an educational tool to make your own automata uh, as a project in the classroom or you can use them actually as greeting cards as well so we could kind of make it as a model that works with a little greeting on it and they also come with a pop-up card so each one has a, a simple pop-up mechanism with a card as well but what I'd like to do now is just very quickly run you through what the movements do for each of the automata and have a little look at the mechanism that makes them work. Now the frog here, really nice and simple to make, a nice little wooden box and the mechanism itself is quite simple to make as well. So if you can see as we turn the handle, he hops about on his lily pad like so. And you can see now with this mechanism we've got a very simple crank and that actually pushes and pulls the frog up and down and if you look at the little tab in here you can see that's the, the space where that crank slider comes up and out you can see now that space that moves in and out and that as it pushes goes to the front and then to the back of that as well and the frog himself just sits in this nice box and as I said very simple to make and uh, it powers what we call powers on the up and down strokes it pulls it up and down we're not relying on gravity to make him move and there we go that's the frog and I think you'll agree he's quite quite effective now you can as well make a little home for him so the box here again very simple to make all the plans are in there little lily pad on the top and the bottom if we take the lid out you can house your frog in there there's different uh, patterns for you to work with on the box for the frog here I've got a sort of a pond version of him so we can see there as opposed to the wooden box Again, he'll leap about on the lily pad there. And you can use the top of the box as a little pedestal to sit him on as well. So that's our frog. And again, nice and simple to make. Lots of straight cuts uh, to put him together. But very, very effective and a good, fun little automata, that one. i just show you the handle this side. Again, we can get him to leap up and down on the lily pad there. Okay, so that's our frog. Now with the cat, we've got two versions, Inky the cat and the little ginger cat here. Again, the box is nice and simple to construct. And as we turn the handle, we can see him chomping down on his favorite fish bones there. And for this automata, we're using a simple crank mechanism. Now for the cam, we're using a simple mechanism here that uses gravity for the cam follower to push up and move our cam up and down which in turn is making his head go up and down as well so that's a very simple mechanism which we use for our cat and we're also going to do the same thing for our dog it's really basically the same mechanism and for the cat you can make this little box to house him in as well and if I open up you can see there's our cheeky little there's our cheeky little fellow living in there. So that's another nice little home for the cat. And while we're talking of homes, um, I've got a, a kennel here for the dog. And that again is a nice simple mechanism. We open it up, our little dog lives inside there. And he works on the same mechanism with the cam. He's got no jaw. We can see him now chomping up and down on his bone there. And the same with the cat, we've got a simple cam and cam follower mechanism. I turn the handle there. So we're using gravity just to push it up and we're using the, we're using the cam to push it up and gravity on the stick here to drop down the weight of the, uh, the stick. Incidentally, these we've used as barbecue sticks and all the lengths and the plans are on the CD for you. And if you can, if you want to, pop a little bit of um, plasticine or something in there to weight the mouth. If you find that if you turn too fast, you can sometimes leap up like that. Also, just perhaps putting a little bit of uh, sandpaper or just rounding off the tip can help as well. Um, 
So that's our dog there. Now what you can do to put these two together and they can be arguing cat and dog. So all I've done now is put the two boxes, make everything up, put the two together and then put one long stick running right the way through it. Same cam mechanism. And then they can, if you offset it with the cam, put them at, so they rise at different times, you can get this lovely sort of little argument going on between the two of them here. For our owl, we've got a simple mechanism down here which actually powers the wings and the heads. So we've got quite a lot happening on here, that you can see. And it's all done with squares, so we've got a cam so we've got a crank, it's called the self-actuating crank, and it pulls itself up and down. It's always under power. We couldn't really rely on gravity to give us what we need here. Now this one's got a little bit stiff with age. A little bit of pencil lead will definitely help to uh, keep things running smoothly. There's a nice little bit of graphite off the pencils. You can see here our lovely owl, he'll hoot away. His head goes up and down and he flaps his wings. And if I just show you the mechanism here, we can see now a little bit more clearly, but when you look at the plans, it'll become more obvious that the crank is being pushed up and down and it's always under power. That, so we don't rely on gravity like the cams. It's an offset crank and it's always under power, being pulled up and down, up and down. And for our owl, we also have a little box here that he can sit inside like so and you can use that again as a pedestal if you want to just rest your automata on him like so. Well I hope that's given you a, a small insight into how these automata work and some of the fun that you can have with the CD-ROM creating these models. So as I said we can look at it really in two ways. They can be a great educational resource using them in your classroom as a starting point for showing how mechanisms work. Uh, the students can make their own, decorate them um, and then even use the basic uh, mechanisms here and build up on it to create their own automata because it's really is sort of the bedrock for everything there and you can also again as I said make them into a greeting card as well so it's a moving greeting card so that could fit in perhaps with some of the projects that you're doing a key stage two uh, making movement projects anyway I hope uh, this video has just given you as I said a little glimpse into what lies ahead on the CD-ROM take care and enjoy your crafting